Hi guys, Dave's back here. Today I'm going to show you this little jig that I made. It's to uh, help me out. I found me some more pallets. And instead of edging them off just with the guide on the table saw, I made this little jig here. Let me show you more about it. Okay, here's the jig and everything. And all it is is a half inch piece of plywood and a quarter inch piece of uh, fiberboard and the reason I chose the half inch plywood here because some of the pallet pieces are thin they're about a half inch thick so that way then I can compensate with the rubber stopper here for thicker things if I wanted to I picked these up at Harbor Freight they're uh, they got a number on them, 201 B. I mean, I can't remember exactly how much it was, but they're not very much. So I, I just screwed them on there. And the piece of plywood here, and this is some scrap I had laying on hand. It's it's roughly six and a half inches wide, and the fiberboard it's ten and a quarter inches wide. Now you can make it as wide as you want. Um, I wouldn't make it too narrow. But uh, this is just some scrap pieces I had on hand. So you want to stick. This is, we're going to line this up with our saw blade here. So you want to stick it above it a little bit and clamp it down. Move this and down here where it's above it a little bit and clamp it down. It's going to look like it right there. And this determines how much you're going to be cutting off if your pieces rougher in some spots you might be cutting more off you know line it up a little bit more but then you see it fasten it down real good here and then you want to adjust your fence to the width of let me take these back off so I can show you what you want to do is adjust your fence to the width of the blade remember we're just going to be cutting on the outside part here Stick your piece back on here. Push it up. Now you can see we got a nice straight edge on it. And if you wanted to, you can put this against your rip fence now, or you can flip it over and line it up again to cut it off. Okay, this thing is is, is real simple to make. And you know, what I used piece of uh, half inch plywood about six and a half inches wide it's uh, a little bit over 33 inches long the ply or the fiber board is it's about 10 and a quarter inches wide now this is just what I had laying around it doesn't have to be that uh, I, I, I laid the boards down against my fence both of them to make sure they're straight and everything and I ripped these make sure they're straight check them if they're square and everything and I laid them down here got them all squared up and then uh, lifted up put some glue on it put it back down put clamps on it take it up and reclamped it all the way around just let it dry overnight and it's all it is to it real simple to make I wish I'd have filmed the process of me making it but uh, I wasn't thinking at the time and just went ahead and done it. But if you're working with pallets and, and want to glue them up, this is the way to do it. Okay, here's a couple boards I ripped on it and they, and they, and they match up good. So I mean, both sides and everything so we can glue these up. You know, pallet boards are rough and everything and this is a safer option than it is using 
um, the guide that's on the fence. And when you're not using it, I put a hole in it. We can hang it up out of the way. Thanks for watching, guys.